when we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun work there. <clears throat> it goes up to the top. That's the trick. That bang in your head. Donk. Heavily bang there. But not too bad. So, got the boat home. Um, solar panel is mounted. And, while not being the prettiest, jutting up like that, it will do the job. 200 watts of solar around our fridge and electrics. Um, yeah, pretty happy. Russ has done a good job. And a uh, new stand there all the way up. And it's mounted onto the side here as well. Beautiful welds. So this is a pretty tidy boat, pretty excited about it. Um, I just replaced the carpet, which looks pretty nice. <clears throat> and um, you'll probably notice it's got a bit of a yellow tinge inside. It's, um, it's just basically the rough um, fiberglass. <clears throat> it's the rough fiberglass that hasn't been um, really coated or anything. It might have had a coat of paint, but anyway, it's looking pretty dated and old. So, um, <clears throat> this is our little galley and this panel over here I'm going to build some new shelves <clears throat> for um, plates and cups and things and all across the roof and the sides we're going to be putting in <laughs> it's, it's hull liner which we call mouse fluff because it's a light grey colour and um, that means that this will not get condensation on it and even down here we'll put it and of course into our front V-berth. <clears throat> now, if this looks a bit hody, yes it is. This is made out of core flute. And this is just a mock-up of what, this is just a mock-up of what I'm going to uh, put there. Um, in the future and we're just making sure it all fits because there's a lot of curvy spots in the boat so um, making it uh, out of core flute to begin with and, and duct tape then I'll make it out of uh, real wood and this is going to have a um, some shelves on the back <clears throat> so again doesn't look too good but this will look quite nice and we're also going to add a shelf running along here inside the V-berth well when I say we me um, yeah so it's all underway another thing I've got to do I'm going to make a big roller uh, platform for our fridge and this will come out and behind it along here it goes right down there will be a long plank followed by two or three plastic boxes so this will be on one piece of wood and it'll roll in and out really easily so we can get to all our pantry items and uh, chilled items and that's our fridge well, it's uh, hot and windy here in Hawke's Bay, 
and summer has arrived. It's 30 something degrees and I've been working on the boat all pretty much most of the day and um, it looks a shambles but we're getting there. So um, had a bit of help from the kids. Uh, Luke has been doing some jigsaw jigsawing work, not jigsaw puzzle but jigsawing work. Nia's been doing some painting and she's been onto this today. That obscure thing is actually the divider by the forehead head. I'm just out of the way because of the wind. It's probably going to be noisy on the mic. Um, so that's done. And we're going to have a look what else we've got to do. These are the sliding covers. And they will have the uh, hull liner on it when they're done. They'll look good. I just painted a little bit of white around them. And then we go, it's all open. This is our shambles. So, now this is new. I just put that in. So, there's a little divider that divides up our V berth. And I've made a bit of a pig's breakfast of this, but I put a fiberglass run on there. And so that's looking a bit tidy. And up here, you see some white brackets. They're going to have shelves in. And then we're going to be replacing this nasty beige color with white gray hull liner. And so that should look a lot nicer. This is now white, looks a lot nicer. And getting rid of all the beige. So the beige will, do, will go, that's going to have hull lining on, some beautiful little LED lights will be going in there underneath the uh, strips. So this is all just uh, masking tape. And around here I've set up my electrical panel. I've got a 500 watt inverter, 20 amp solar controller, a little remote for that. Don't know why because the switch is just there, that's okay. A little light pop, um, switchboard. And so we've got our 100 amp hour battery there that is just fitting in the box, but we only had one of them, so I cut another one. And so that's about to have another battery. And this is the little shelf that I made for the galley. And yeah, that's about it for now. And of course the uh, fridge roller trolley system under there sure if I showed you that. Let's have a look. Basically take off the bottom step and hold the handle. Put in some rubbish. And voila! We have a pretty cool system. So we got four boxes and they have uh, compartments, everything, and this here is our which way? Oh, fridge freezer, and this is pretty cool. This has got a LED panel which I can Bluetooth to. The freezer compartment goes well below zero, like 15, 18 degrees, and a four degrees below zero fridge compartment. Pretty neat. It's on a little trolley which I just managed to get the little wheels low enough to slide down that hole. So, progress so far. Uh, the head, but we've got a little bit of the uh, mouse fluff on. Coming back, I've got some mouse fluff on this side. 
which is nice. And across. So here's a left and right of mouse fluff, no mouse fluff. So I've done the detailing around the little LED strip lights. And it's without it. Pretty ugly. A couple of weeks of work on the, the boat and uh, not quite ready yet but it needs a good polish and clean but she's aptly named and ready to go <clears throat> so we're on shore power with our fridge at the moment and I'm just about to uh, connect it up to the solar panel so I'm um, hoping like heck that's going to work it's sort of a trial we haven't tried yet What's a Pudakawa? A New Zealand Christmas tree. Yeah, and why? Um, I have no idea why. Why do you think it looks like a Christmas tree? Oh, because it's got red petals and it's, it's so got pretty. bright red stamens. And what are we going to do? We're going to make some cordial out of it. Some Christmas cordial. So it's very New Zealand. We've only just discovered this ourselves, or well, someone else discovered it and we copied it. So we're going to get some bright red stamens from these beautiful Christmas trees, New Zealand native trees, and we need a lot of stamens to make this cordial, so hopefully people won't get annoyed that we're harvesting them. Um, but it tastes rather nice, it tastes a wee bit like uh, roasted, uh, roasted strawberries. <laughs> Not that anyone's roasted strawberries before, but... Yeah, it's pretty pink, so we're on a mission. So these are the red stamens of a pahutakawa tree, and there's lots of bees. There's lots of pahutakawa honey. Oh, oh yeah, little low ones. They're not. Yeah, they should be right, eh? Rams a bottle.
the one folly we used to uh, have to make all our water with a desalinator which required power from the generator and on our little boat Lucy now we have to find other ways because we don't have a water maker but what we do have is a freshwater spring now this spring is in here somewhere and walking in the water is the lake is beautiful it's tempered and as I get closer to the spring uh, the water gets colder and colder so this is the beginning of it and so our uh, club has tested the water in fact it's over here somewhere and in here the water is freezing I mean that's seriously cold it's hurting my feet and my feet are freezing in fact it's quite painful so the water has been tested uh, by scientists to be perfectly pure and I can understand it must come from very deep stand on the uh, on the greenery by the side it's just too cold to stand there and this is where it comes out just beautiful Something I'm loving about this place is the beach has no plastic. It's only a small lake, but boy, uh, if this was Turkey or Greece, the beach would be covered in plastic. So on the lake, we um, there's a lot of yachts, there's a lot of uh, speedboats, and there are also a lot of um, jet skis and things. And uh, one of the 
coolest things I've just seen is this little tiny house and it's on a, a pontoon and uh, in fact several pontoons which can collapse and be trailered and um, yeah I'm just gonna have come and have a look it's awesome Thank you. 